When the popularity of your website grows, more and more people will visit to fill out any landing page forms that you have created. But there's also a downside to this increased traffic. With more submitted forms, you run the risk of bots filling out these forms with junky, useless data, also known as spam form submissions. But now there's a way to help you protect your database from being tainted with bad data. In this video, I want to show you how you can use a CAPTCHA control element to ward off spam bots from successfully submitting your forms. CAPTCHA, or C-A-P-T-C-H-A, is an acronym that stands for Completely Automatic Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. It's not the best acronym, but when you use a CAPTCHA implementation to your landing page form, your visitors will be required to take a simple test that only humans can pass and computers cannot. I've already logged into my ACT database and I've clicked Marketing Automation in the left navigation and from here I clicked on Landing Pages at the top of the screen. So now let's locate a landing page that I've already created. I'm going to use this Summer Sweepstakes landing page and then from here I'm going to click on the form I've already created and I want to make sure I edit this form so I'll click Go. As you can see here I've got a basic Contact Us form template. It includes fields for full name, email address, company name, and phone number. Pretty basic stuff. But I want to add a CAPTCHA control step so that spam bots can't start submitting bad data. To do this, I'm going to go to the Actions menu at the right, and I'm going to choose CAPTCHA. This displays the CAPTCHA fields window. First, I need to check the box that says Enable CAPTCHA for this page. This will automatically add a check to the next box which says allow user to generate a new image. Occasionally, the image that gets displayed is difficult to perceive, so this gives users a chance to load a different image rather than fail the test. Below this, we have three fields. The first field says generate new image. This lets you change the text that prompts users to get a new image. The second field says type the code from the image. If you want to change those instructions to something that's more easily understood, you can change the text in this field. And finally, the third text field says CAPTCHA ERROR TEST. This lets you change the error message that appears when users fail the test. Once you've completed all of these fields, click the Save button. And now you can see that the CAPTCHA element is displayed above your form. Let's click the Preview page to see it in action. Now my form is displayed and beneath that is the CAPTCHA element, which users must pass before they can submit their data. To save this CAPTCHA element to the landing page, make sure you go to your Actions menu and click Save and Return. Now when users access your landing page, the CAPTCHA control test will be there to help ward off those dastardly spam bots.